Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things you do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. T Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. Well, today's a little bit different. Today, we're going to get really creative. We're going to actually paint with light. At least, I'm going to show you how to do it and show you the results of my light painting. It's something that can't be videoed as it's done, but you can see the end results towards the end of today's show. And I'll tell you what, this is something that you can do with ease. What you'll need is you'll need a digital camera. In this case, I'm using a rather expensive Nikon D60. It's my girlfriend's camera. I'm using this camera. It's, a, it's what's called a single lens reflex camera. It means that the light coming through this lens is exactly what you view through the viewfinder. And then there's a little mirror in there that'll flip up out of the way to allow exposure on the image sensor back in the back of the camera. So let me tell you why I'm using this camera, because this camera has a remote control and it has something called a bulb setting, that's B-U-L-B. Now, a camera with a bulb setting basically is a camera where the shutter can be left open as long as you want it to. This is optimal for painting with light. Now, you won't need a camera quite this good. If your camera does have a bulb setting or an open shutter setting, keeps the shutter open or if it doesn't have either of those you can set your camera to the longest exposure time and some of the newer digital cameras even the real inexpensive cameras actually have exposure times of maybe 10 seconds and that's plenty of time to paint with light not only am I, not only am I going to paint with light or are we going to paint with light today I'm also going to do some really creative double exposures by simply adjusting light, turning it on and off, and moving in the frame of the picture. Now, every picture that you're going to see at the end of today's show has no Photoshop work done to it. There's nothing done. It's the actual raw photo that's going to be taken with this camera. You'll also need a tripod. So a digital camera and a tripod. You're also going to need some sources of light. Here I've got some LED flashlights. This flashlight also has a laser pointer built into it. I don't know if you can see that or not. And here's an incandescent flashlight with two different settings, a dimmer setting and a brighter setting. Okay, I already told you that you're not gonna be able to watch me paint with light. Why is this? It's because to paint with light, we have to have a completely dark room. A room with the lights all turned off and with no other light source shining in from outside or anything like that. So, obviously the video camera couldn't videotape me doing this, so let me just mock what I'll be doing with the lights on, and then when I turn them off, that is exactly what I will have done to create the photographs that you'll see at the end of today's episode. First of all, the camera here is set on a tripod. It is set to bulb setting, and then I simply press the shutter release. That opens the lens and it stays open. Now in a completely dark room, if this flashlight were off as well, I could then get in front of the camera and turn on the light and begin moving it around like this in different shapes. I can try to write with it, perhaps some cursive writing like my name, and then turn it off, return to your camera, and close the shutter. Now if your camera doesn't have a bulb setting, what are you going to do? You're going to be working a little bit faster. You're going to release the shutter in a completely dark room, which will set it to a very long exposure. Usually the longest is about 10 to 15 seconds. So you'll hit the shutter release on your camera, you'll quickly get in front of it, and you'll start shining the light at the camera. Experiment with different light sources and experiment with different light movements. How will I make a double exposure? I can get the light off, I'll show you. To make a double exposure, I'm going to use a different light source. I'm going to use this incandescent light. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over to my camera. I'm going to release the shutter. This camera in particular will be on the bulb setting, so the shutter will be open for as long as, it's, as, long as I need it to be until I 
press the shutter release again. So I'll press the shutter release, placing this camera with the shutter open in a completely dark room. This is very important. I'll get in front of the camera, and then I'm going to shine the flashlight on my face and stay very still, then I'm going to turn it off. Now I'm going to move, and I'm going to shine the flashlight on my face again, and then turn it off. There will be two of me in the image, and my phone's ringing, of course. So let me go get that, and you take a look at the pictures.